So today I want you to learn the easiest way to write or insert matrix in Microsoft Word document. Perhaps your mathematics teacher, your physics teacher, this is the right place for you to be. So we learn the easiest way. We have the, the first method that most of us normally use it and that is the GUI or the graphical user interface method. So I'm going to write this matrix which is of the order 3 by 2. That is numbers of rows are 3 and the number of columns 2. So how can we just write it? So let me write it by entering for the equation editor so this will be alt equal so if you look at the top here at the uh, tab ribbon we have the equation tab then go to matrix and click on it so it will give you several matrix format that you want so let me choose a three by two and matrix so that's what i've chosen so and i'll enter those elements three then five six two one and nine so to enclose with the bracket so under the bracket also the first element so i press the left arrow key then i enter the closing bracket so then i'll space so that i close it that is a graphical user interface but the other ways which are it's very easy to do it whenever you have maybe a complex matrix where the numbers of rows are more and still it is easier to do it and this is the equation editor mode so in this case we have the address symbol which represents the numbers of row while we have the hand symbol which represents the number of columns in a matrix so we have the first one which is we enter a blank or an empty matrix how can we enter this blank or empty matrix remember in this case we don't have it there we don't have it so how can we actually enter it so and let me show you on how we can enter it so let me press the tab button so that i have some space then i will enter the equation uh, mode that is alt equal so that i have this equation mode here so something else we have the numbers of rows and the numbers of columns there there are five rows and also four columns so when writing this i press the backslash uh, key then i write matrix space then and close the uh, open a bracket then from here I'll enter this how many times the address symbol four times. Since I have five rows, it will be minus one. So I enter how many of them? Four. So that is five minus one to be four. Then we have the we have to also state the number of columns required. There are four. So I'll enter the uh, three of them that the and symbol three of them then close the bracket and space so that's what actually we have how can we uh, enclose it with the bracket because the matrix must be enclosed with the bracket so uh, at this end i can see the cursor is at the end so shift then the closing bracket also the opening bracket i press the click on the first box then the left arrow key then shift so then that's what i have then i place the cursor to the end then i press the space bar that's how we enter the blank or empty matrix if you know the elements now you can input all the elements
Okay, fine, that's how easy it is. Then the other one, if you know a matrix with an element, so we have this here, we can also specify directly what we have. So in this case, let me press Alt equal key so that I enter the type equation mode. Then from there, I press the backslash key, then P N A T R I X space, then open the bracket, then I have seven. I separate, I'm going to separate it in the first column. This is the first column I separate by the and symbol. So those elements in the first column, I separate them because they are in different columns. Uh -huh. Then eight, then and two. Then second row, add, then six, separate by hand simple, then three, hand simple, one, then next row, add root simple, then seven, and nine, and zero, close the bracket, space. So that is the easiest way to go about it. I hope this tutorial has been very, very useful for you and for the end. If it is of much help, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I'm Mr. Michael Samuel, teacher.